What's up guys, to season 3 episode 1 of the Derby career mode and that means only one thing, we're going to make a lot of signings and for some reason the board decided to give us £50 million pounds, so we're not going to spend all of that because I don't think that's very fair, I talked about it on Twitter quite a bit so if you want to go there and see all the tweets I did, basically I kept simulating from the 30th of one month to the 1st of July and for some reason it just kept giving me the money that I decided to disconnect my ethernet cable, I tried restarting the save mode like I quit it without saving and restarted it but every time it seemed to give me I don't know why maybe you guys know in the comment section down below but we're only going to spend about 20 million so I think that's a fair amount to spend especially when we did finish seventh in the league and we did get an FA Cup final win so we're going to sell a few players as well so we're just putting some bids on the players that you guys did suggest in the last episode so a surprise one that I thought would be nice as we do have quite a bit of money now is um Yo Campbell from Costa Rica. He's been very impressive at the World Cup so far, and I think he would be a very nice adding to the series. And uh, we're just going to make a few contract offers here, and we're going to get Jonathan Mitchell just because he's actually signed for Derby in real life. And I think that's nice to add him to the series. Obviously, we're probably not going to use him because I think he's only about 55 rated. So maybe in an FA Cup game or something, we'll have to see. So we're going to get all these players that you guys did suggest, and we're going to accept them all. It is going very fast, but um, I don't like making it really slow and boring when we're making the signs. I'm just like bombing them out and getting them all in there and making it really exciting for you guys We're gonna try and sell those players that we did get on a free last year uh, Chavez and I can't even remember the other guy's name We just sell them for like a hundred K The only reason we did get them in the first place was because we just didn't have that much in the midfield And as we are playing quite a few midfielders, I felt that we needed the backup So we are gonna accept your Campbell here I think he is gonna be a fantastic signing and we have made many other signings we've made uh, Luke James, Ben Glasgow uh, Muru and a few others I can't quite remember off the top of my head but I'm sure you guys will be able to uh, see in the upcoming episodes but I'm not quite sure where we should play Campbell leave a comment down below on where we should maybe at striker maybe at left wing maybe at right wing or maybe even the center attack in mid slot put a comment down below on where you think I should put him and we have actually tried to sell Jamie Ward now as he is worth just over a million and I think that is a really good price for him. He is probably going to go down in ratings now as he is getting quite old now. And I don't really like him when I do play with him. He doesn't seem to do that well so a million is quite nice for him. So here are the, some of the signings. Uh, we've got Muru, Campbell of course. Uh, we can put Grealish in the centre attack in mid slot for this next game. And we're going to try Campbell at the right mid slot as that is his default position. So we go into the Community Shield, a game that I'm not too bothered if we want to lose. And unfortunately we do concede that goal there in the seventh minute of the match. And then for some reason we concede this goal here. Callas with the absolutely incredible volley. He's put it into the back of the net to make it 2-0 in the Community Shield. And unfortunately that is how the game does end. So not the best for us obviously. It would have been nice to kick off this season with a Community Shield. But nevertheless hopefully we can get it in the next season. Because we are going to continue the Derby career mode until FIFA 15 starts. And then we'll probably start again on FIFA 15. We'll have to see how it is on that. We'll have to see maybe they don't even include in career mode. Maybe they probably will to be honest. It is a very uh, popular game mode and I really enjoy it. So in the next game we're going to put Campbell as the centre attack in mid slot. But he didn't seem to do that well in the middle. I don't know. Maybe we should keep him out wide. I think that will be the best position. Because we do unfortunately concede that goal there in the 17th minute of the match. And that was the only goal of the game. And in this episode we're just showing goals. Because in the first uh, episode of the season I like to keep it nice and short. It's still quite a long episode. It's about 6 minutes long. So we're going to get into our next game against Manchester City. And in this game we do actually play Campbell at the striker position. And he does get a goal goal here kind of lucky how he just um like close his man down and get the goal but uh it wasn't the most exciting goal in the world but still to score against manchester city on world class is not bad at all but minutes later aguero does volley into the back of the net there to make it one all in the game and then just after half time we unfortunately concede a goal here muru loses the ball and then um, aguero again puts it into the back of the net and we unfortunately lose that game so 2-1 against Manchester City isn't too bad, especially when we are away and we are playing on world class, of course. That is very difficult at the moment. So we're going to our next game against QPR. Hopefully we can get a win in this next game, but we'll have to see how we do. And we are going to play James and Campbell up front. Hopefully that strike force can get us a few goals. So we're going to the game and in the third minute of the match, we don't actually kick it off very nicely with that goal from uh, Charlie Austin there. Very good player. It would be interesting if we could sign him in the January transfer window. We'll have to see. What we can do when we get there but uh, we do get a goal here in the 80th minute of the match Marez with the header fantastic goal and uh, Luke James with the extra real good assist they like put it back in the area I need to put it into the back of the net so um, one all isn't too bad I don't know in the first few episodes I seem to do quite badly on uh, career mode like we're going to our next game against crew we are playing quite a weaker team but um, I probably should have won this game in uh, full time because we had to go all the way to extra time and we are just going to set up the team for the game 
And we do go all the way to penalties. Uh, we don't even go to extra... Well, we did go to extra time. We just didn't score in it because we did have quite a weak team. It was pretty much all 70 rated. So we go to the penalty shootout and I just thought I'd make it on fast forward. And I was thinking, why is Paul Pogba playing for Korea? And I remember there's like a... I can't remember his first name, but he's called Pogba. So put a comment down below on what his name is because I definitely know of a Pogba for playing for Q, uh, for crew. So it is pretty much the end of the penalty shootout here. Lee Grant was actually quite good in this penalty shootout. He's saying quite a few of the uh, penalties. Obviously, the crew players aren't going to have the best penalty in the world. And there's the winning penalty, Carole, with the goal. And um, yeah, this is how this episode does end. So we made a lot of signings. We made a record-making signing of 7.8 million on Campbell. Hopefully, he can get a bit of form in the upcoming episode. He did get a goal against Manchester City. And hopefully, we can get a win in the next episode and kick off our Premier League season. So, if you enjoyed this episode, it would be fantastic. If you could, smash the like button, subscribe if you're on your channel, and see you soon.